For many of us, black and white are the first two colors that come to mind when we think of foundational colors for our wardrobes. But lately, I've really been wanting more from the foundation for my capsule wardrobe. Something slightly more nuanced that makes me feel warmer, more thoughtful, that makes my cheeks look pinker, and that echoes the all-around softness that I look for in my wardrobe. I really think that I have found that in navy and ivory as a replacement for black and white. Hello YouTube family and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lauren McKinney. I love making videos about slow fashion, personal style, and capsule wardrobing. If this sounds like a topic that interests you or if you're tired of wearing black and white and want to find an alternative, definitely keep watching. Subscribe down below, give me a thumbs up, and comment let me know whether you're team navy and ivory or team black and white. Let's talk about these gorgeous colors and what kind of a role they're really playing in my wardrobe and how to know if maybe you should give them a try as an alternative to black and white. I wanna start off by detailing each of these colors a little bit, talking about their history and really how they make me feel or what they make me think of and why I think they're appropriate colors for my wardrobe right now. So let's start with navy blue. Navy has an inevitable connection to the nautical, especially considering the fact that navy blue was deemed navy blue because it was the official color of the uniform for the Royal English Navy. And since many other uniforms have come to be navy blue color, that name has just really stuck. But I think that it always brings to mind not only this kind of nautical aesthetic, but with things like Breton stripes and sailings and a little bit preppy or sporty, I think navy blue really fits in well with that. But when we look at the way that navy occurs in nature, it's usually in instances of great power or authority. There aren't a lot of naturally occurring instances of navy in the natural world, but two that immediately come to mind for me are the night sky, particularly right before the sky shifts into this like deep black color. There's this like wide dark blue expanse above us that is just this example of limitless power and kind of the unknown. Also, I think of a dark sea, whether it's stormy or the night is so deep that the water just looks super dark blue. Of course, the ocean is often associated with, again, power and kind of the unknown. In style, fashion, and interior decoration, navy has often replaced black as an alternative that is slightly softer and easier to style. I think when we see people dressed in navy, it feels like a very intentional decision. Like they didn't just choose black, they chose navy. It was very thoughtful and intentional decision, which I think is a beautiful way to perceive this color. Next, let's talk about ivory a little bit. I think ivory has long been a symbol of opulence, um, particularly because the color ivory comes from the ivory of elephant tusks. Even though that was definitely an inhumane practice, it was very common for wealthier pe members of society to, to flaunt the ivory collectibles or pieces in their homes. But I also think that ivory has a tendency to feel slightly more natural than stark white too. I think there are several more instances of ivory occurring in nature than stark white unless you're thinking about like snow or something like that. But when we think of, you know, fields of grain or pampas grass or just again, naturally occurring examples of ivory, I think there are several options. It feels both ephemeral and ethereal, but also kind of aged and antique. I think it calls back to this tradition of antiquity when we look at old columns or architecture, they no longer have this white shininess about them, but this kind of dulled, subdued ivory color that has come, come with years of patina and age. And it almost says, 
hey, I've been through a lot or I have transformed. This color feels like a bygone era romanticized and it's almost as if because it indicates age and wear that it has a story to tell. And yeah, those sounds like those sound like romantic applications for both of these colors, but I feel like it's important to understand the way that colors make us feel because Inevitably, that's going to impact the reason why we choose to include them in our wardrobes. But from a much more practical standpoint, I think that navy and ivory are excellent choices. They're both extremely sophisticated. They're both softer than black and white. They are both seasonless, as in you would feel comfortable wearing navy in all seasons and ivory in all seasons, particularly if you're someone who subscribes to the no white after Labor Day, but like winter white is okay, uh, which I don't don't personally, but I think, again, ivory kind of transcends all of those stark fashion rules. They seem both intentional and more thoughtful than their black and white counterparts, and they go with nearly everything. In fact, off the top of my head, I can't think of a color that these colors wouldn't go to. I think you would have to be hard pressed to find one. And if so, it would just be like a slight unmatching. Like they are not in the same undertone or there's something just slightly off. Let's talk a little bit about why I am opting for navy and ivory. And maybe that will help you figure out if these are colors that you might want to experiment with or replace black and white with. I truly believe that both navy and ivory look better with my skin tone. And I think it's just because I am kind of fair skinned. And even though I'm not an expert or in color analysis or, or seasonal analysis, I do have a gut feeling for picking colors that I like to wear. And even though I like a classic black tee or a, a classic black dress and a beautiful white button down, there's something to be said for my all around desire for just warmer and softer colors. And navy and ivory provide me the versatility of black and white without the harshness of black and white. I also feel like navy and ivory can be dressed up or dressed down really nicely. There's something just slightly more elegant about a navy tee or an ivory tee than a black one or a white one. Like I've said, they feel more intentional than black and white, as in you have to really look and pinpoint and carefully select an ivory piece versus a white piece and a navy piece versus a black piece, but they function in the same way as black and white do. They offer that really foundational grounding color and that light neutral without the starkness that can come with black and white and the harshness that you can feel when you pick one of those foundational colors. I also really like the way that navy and ivory go with a lot of my jewelry. I wear mostly gold jewelry and lately I've been really loving pearl and mother of pearl. I think it speaks to this kind of whimsy that I like to integrate into my wardrobe and I love the way that pearl and mother of pearl look with ivory and blue. I think they mesh together really nicely in a way that I can't quite pinpoint but I just I feel it you know. And because of all this I've decided to prioritize these two colors in my all year basics capsule wardrobe. I'm so excited to style them and explore them more, but I wanted to start off really mindfully instead of just replacing all of my black and white pieces with navy and ivory pieces, which I don't think will ever happen because I think it is useful to have some black and white in your wardrobe. I just didn't want to have as much black and white as my wardrobe. So I've started off with these two tees from Colorful Standard, which of course brings us to say thank you so much to Colorful Standard for sending me this beautiful ivory t-shirt that I was able to select. I liked it so much that I purchased my own navy t-shirt from this brand. They are a sustainable company that uses 100% organic cotton, environmentally friendly dyes, and they have fair labor practices in their factories in Portugal. Their pieces are really beautiful and come in a variety of fits and cuts, and so I want to say thank you so much to them for sharing some lovely pieces with me to share with you all. If if you're interested in looking at their website or want to give some new colors for your wardrobe a try, you can check out my affiliate link down below. I do make a small commission of any purchase made through that link. And Colorful Standard was kind enough.
enough to offer me a discount code that you all can use for your purchases. Colorful Standard has an abundance of colors that you can choose from from their website and I definitely only have good things to say about my experience with them so far. So check it out below if you're interested. So how do you know if these are two colors that you should integrate into your wardrobe to maybe wear black and white a little bit less often? I think a great way to start is with t-shirts. Just like I just said, I started with two t-shirts and that way I could start with some foundational pieces that are really approachable and easy to style. So the different color wouldn't put me off or made me feel afraid to try to style this. T-shirts are always very accessible and approachable. So I think this is a great way to experiment with colors in your own wardrobe. I think another way, and this is really important, something that I try to do often, is to look at the things that inspire you and bring you joy and pleasure to look at. Do those pieces of art or photos or films have a lot of high contrast, really stark colors, or do they have lower contrast, softer, more muted colors? And you can even ask yourself, is there a lot of black and white here, or is there a lot of navy and ivory, or green and pink, or whatever whatever two colors that you pick and you can help identify whether or not you should try different foundational colors for your capsule wardrobe. I think the things that inspire us are always a really good place to start when we're looking to make wardrobe changes because our wardrobes should inspire us as well. So why not make those two things compatible? I've been so pleased with the way that navy and ivory have been working in my wardrobe and they are now my go-to basic t-shirts and I'm so excited to just continue styling them in videos for you. And I think it's always great to question anything that says these are colors that you must have in your wardrobe, which I think is often where we see black and white, but truly black and white just doesn't work for some people. By questioning those rules or things that you feel like you have to fit in, you can rediscover foundational colors for your wardrobe that truly work for you and you feel super comfortable and more like yourself when you're wearing them. So that's that for today's video. I want to thank you so much for watching. I know this video is a little bit more focused, a little bit more theoretical, but I think it's fun to share these kinds of changes with you all because I never thought that I could replace black and white from my wardrobe with other colors and now as I'm growing in my personal style and finding out more about myself and what I like to wear changing things up a little bit even subtly introducing more color is making my wardrobe come alive in ways that I did not expect it to so if that sounds like something that might work for you definitely let me know down below in the comments again don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video thanks again to Colorful Standard for sharing some beautiful pieces with me. And don't forget to click my link below if you have an honest gap in your wardrobe and would like to try some more colors. As always, it's an honor to spend this time with you and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a great week. Bye.